Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you all how to convert the data of a CSV file and make a HTML table. So here I have a CSV file called testfile.csv and here I have some information about uh, the 12 months and their respective temperatures. So I will show you how to write a code to convert this information and display it onto a, onto a HTML file. So let's see how we can do it. First off, we will import the module from pretty table. Import pretty table. Make sure that you have installed pretty table because pretty, pretty table is not a built in Python module. Okay, now what we do is we will open the CSV file using the open function. So the first thing is we pass in the path in which our test file.csv is present we pass in that path and then we pass in the mode in with which with which we want to open the file so we pass in r because we want to open it in read mode after that what we want to do is we want to read the information using the read lines function so csv file is equal to csv file dot read lines so what this does is that the read lines function will now create a list. It will take one line from the file, make it into an element of the list, and then take the second line and make it into the second element of a list. Let me actually print out CSV files so that you know what I'm talking about. Let me run this. So here you can see this is my CSV file. This is line one and this is line two. And what read lines function did is that it took line one, made it into an element, and then it took line two, made it into a second element. So now it's in a list format. But what we want to do is we want to take this first element and you see these individual uh, information like month, Jan, Feb, so on. We want to make them individual elements of another list so that we can um, plug in the information into the HTML table. So to do this, what we need to do is, let me remove this, we create a variable line one, and then uh, we say that CSV file bracket zero is line one. So the first element is line one, and the second element is line two. And again, remember that the list, uh, it starts from zero. So the first element will be zero. And what we want to do is we want to pick out the information like month, jan, so on, and make it into an element itself. So what we do is we use the split function. So line one is equal to line one dot split. And we will split along the comma. So it w what Python will do is Python will see that this element is line one, then it will take month, and then it will see a comma, and then it will be like, okay, so month is the first element, and then it will take Jan, it will make it into another element, and it will again see another comma, and then it will take Feb as another element, and so on. So let me do the same for line two, and let me actually um, print it out so that you know exactly what's happening here. So what I will do is I will print out line one and line two. So here you can see that before this was CSV file and then what we did is we took the first element made it into line one and you see now line one is a list on its own and month is an element in line one jan is an element in line one and the same with line two where temperature is an element 10 12 and so on are also elements so that's what the split function is doing it is splitting the information along the comma and then making individual elements okay so now what we want to do is we want to create the table so x is equal to pretty table here what we need to do 
is we need to pass in the headers. So from here, you can understand that the header is going to be month and temperature. So you see right now we have two lists, line one and line two. So we want to take months. So that means we need to pass in line one bracket zero because we want to pass in the first element of line one as a header. And we also want to pass in the first element of line two as a header. So now these are the two headers for our table. And then what we will do is we'll create a for loop for A in the range. What I want to do is I want to loop through this list. list. So line one and line two, I'll loop through it and I will add in the information. But remember that the first element has already been passed in as a header. So we need to start looping from the second element. So we pass in one instead of zero. And how do we know what is the last element? To do that, we use the a length, uh, the len, it's basically a short form for length. So that len function, and we pass in line one. This will determine the length of line one, and it will determine when the for loop needs to stop. So what will we do inside the for loop? What we do is we take in x dot add row. Add row function will help us add the elements so here we pass in line one and pass in a and then we pass in line two pass in a again so what happens here is when a is one that what it uh, it will go to line one and it will pick up the second element which is jan and it will go to line two and pick up the second element which is 10. when a is equal to two it will pick up feb and 12 and so on until the loop ends so that's how we are adding rows into our table. So now, finally, our table is done. But how do we convert it into an HTML uh, code? So to do that, we create another variable called HTML code. And we take our table x and then x dot get HTML string. Get HTML string is a function which will help us to take our table and then uh, Python will write down the, Python, uh, the HTML code to make the contents of that table into, uh, H, uh, into a table which can be displayed in an HTML format. So if you actually print out HTML code this variable you will actually see that you, you can, uh, Python is writing out the HTML code to display this table in an HTML format. But um, it's a pretty long code, so I, I won't show it right now. Uh, so I'll just go on to uh, save this HTML code into a file so that we can open the file and I will just show you the output. So HTML file is equal to open. So we first create HTML file in which we will store the HTML code. So to create the HTML file, we use the open function and then we pass in the path in which our HTML file will be. So let's call our HTML file table.html and we will open it in W mode because we want to write it. So we have created our HTML file. Now it's, but it's empty. So we, to, po uh, to populate the file, we are going to use the write function and inside it, we're just going to pass an HTML code. We save it and then uh, let me save it it's saved okay let me run this so you'll see that table.html is being created and it's created so now this is my chrome browser i'm just going to push it in here and there you go so you see oh, wait where did my csv file go um Okay, there you go. <laughs> it's over here. So the this is the CSV file, and this is our uh, HTML table. So using this code, I was able to transform this one into this one. Pretty cool, right? So uh, let me just go through the code one more time in case you guys have any questions. So um, we import pretty table. We open the CSV file. We read the uh, using the read lines, we read the file and then we create a list. Then we break down the line into another list 
and then we take the information from each line and put it in the headers using a pretty table and then we create a for loop to loop through the line and use the, using the add row function we will pass in each of the information from the line into the table so you can see month and temperature is the first row and then Jan and 10 is the second row Feb and 12 is the third row that's what add row is basically doing and now if you uh, we want to convert the table into HTML so we use get HTML string function and then we create the HTML file and we just use the write function to um, write down the HTML code into the HTML file and that's it and you just open the HTML file and this is what's displayed it's pretty cool because you're making Python write HTML code for you so I hope you have all enjoyed this video and if you have any questions just comment below and if you have uh, liked the video please um, uh, share it with your friends subscribe to my channel that would really really help me and uh, hope to see you soon in future videos thank you very much for watching